Hey guys, Nathan from Arms and Armor here. Today I want to talk to you about a new product. Uh, this is our new Type L Danish War Axe with a reinforced edge. Right, put down this other one. Ugh. So, reinforced edge, what's that mean? Well, similar to our Type M Dane Axe with reinforced edge, this guy gets thicker in the bit right before the edge. Right? You can see that it has this much more significant bevel because the head is thicker than our normal Type L Dane Axe. And if you look at the profile of this, the edge of this one is finer and thinner. So why do we do this and what's it mean? Well, part of it is just aesthetic. They're both historical. Uh, we had plenty of examples of reinforced edge axes in essentially the Viking period through the Norman invasion and of non-reinforced edges. So what's the difference? Well, part of it was probably in how they were made. Right? These axes were usually made of iron and then you would weld in a steel bit on the edge. Right? These reinforced ones, they probably kind of made a taco out of the hardened steel and welded that on, which made the edge thicker, and then didn't bother grinding it down to this kind of fine edge. Uh, functionally, it means that this guy is a little tougher, right? It's got a little more material there out at the edge. The non-reinforced one can hold probably a bit of a finer edge because the angle of the bevel is greater. Right? Look here. Oh, where's the camera? There it is. Right? The angle, because the blade is thinner out to the edge, the angle can be more acute. On the reinforced edge, you have this thicker area of steel out here that makes it more resilient uh, and you can still get it very sharp it's very sharp but it probably won't slice right through cloth and meat <laughs> quite as well as this guy so new reinforced edge type l danish war axe uh, weighs a couple ounces more than the normal one because there's more steel in it Another option for you, both equally historic and cool, probably get one of each. Thank you.